Hey guys, welcome back to Lingoni English. My name is Emily, and in this video, we're talking about 10 phrasal verbs in English that you might not know yet. Are you ready to get started? So in case you've forgotten what a phrasal verb is, it is a verb with a particle attached to it. And this particle changes the meaning of the original verb on its own. So for example, this verb means something different in both of these sentences. I brought pizza to the party. I brought up the fight last night. Brought in those two sentences mean totally different things. So that's why it's very important to know these phrasal verbs and use them when you're speaking English. Okay, so now that you remember what a phrasal verb is, let's learn some more that you might not know yet. First one is to come up with. This means to create. I came up with a plan that's going to get us out of this mess. Come up with. To get along. To get along with someone means to have a good relationship with someone. Jim and Harold don't get along very well. Whenever they're together, there is always a fight. To get along. Next one, to turn down. So in this sense, it means to not accept an offer. So to reject an offer. She turned down the promotion at work because she knew she wouldn't be happy in that position. Or she turned down a date with the guy from next door. She said, no, thank you. To turn down. The next one, to cut off. This means to interrupt or stop something. I'm cutting you off. You've had way too much to drink tonight. You'll often hear this at bars. Someone's getting cut off. They're being stopped from ordering more alcohol. You can also cut someone off when you're speaking. So if I'm talking right now and someone just starts talking right in the middle of me talking, they just cut me off. To cut off. To put up with. This means to deal with something even though it's bothersome. I put up with your bad behavior because you are my child and I love you very much. Or maybe someone says, I don't have to put up with this. I'm leaving. Put up with. By the way, did you guys know that Lingoni has an app? In the app, you'll get tons of extra practice for not only this video, but all of the videos we make from A1 to B2. We offer worksheets, interactive exercises, vocab trainings, podcasts, and more to take your English to the next level. Okay, let's get back to the video. The next one, to bring up. This means to mention a certain subject. He brought up his ex-girlfriend on our date last night. That was not a good move. To bring up. To look after. This means to care for someone or something. I hired a babysitter to look after the kids while we're at work. Or, could you look after my dog this weekend? I'm going out of town. To look after. To look forward to. If you're looking forward to something, you're positively anticipating it. I'm looking forward to my vacation next month. Are you looking forward to anything right now? To look forward to. Also, you've probably heard to look forward to in business emails. Oftentimes people write, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. This means I'm excitedly awaiting your response. So, to look forward to. To come up. If something is about to come up, it's about to happen. I've got a big birthday coming up soon. I'm turning 30. My birthday is coming up. To come up. Have you got anything interesting coming up in the next few weeks? To come up. Last one, to come along. In this sense, it means to develop. How's that book you're writing coming along? If you ask this, you're asking, how is the book progressing or developing? How is it coming along? How is your English coming along? to come along. Well, that's it for this video. Have you guys heard all these phrasal verbs before? Tell us in the comments which ones are totally new for you and which ones you already knew before. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to write those in the comments as well. Thanks so much for watching Lingoni English. Don't forget, we have an app. You can find that at en.lingoni.com and we'll see you guys there. Bye.